systematic method for you guys to do. Now, in the previous example, we knew the vertex. Since we knew what the vertex was, the problem wasn't that bad. We just had to plug in h and k and then and x and y and solve for y. In this case, though, we have all x and y's. Right? So we have a problem with that because we can't really do anything with the plugging the, um, the h and the k for there. So to do a problem like this, you guys can see we could use subscripts. You guys can see that there's three different x's and y's, correct? So guess what? If there's basically three different variables, we need to create three different equations. Can you please put that away? Thank you. We need to create three different equations. Well, we do have x and y's in for the standard form. And you can see that here, we have those three variables. So for creating three equations, we can solve for a, b, and c, because we'll have three equations, which I'll show you here in just a second. So let's just go and plug them in. So we have first equation would be 0 equals a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. Equation 2 is going to be negative 2 equals a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. All I'm doing is I'm plugging in x and y. x and the y. Number th equation 3 is I'm plugging in negative 6 equals a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. Does everybody see how I inputted the x values or the x coordinate for each graph into as the x value for the equations? Does that make sense? And then I plugged in the y coordinates. Now we can go ahead and simplify this. Well, anything times 0, ladies and gentlemen, is just going to be done. Right, could you move to a different seat, please, Ryan? Thank you. So this turns out to be c equals 0. This, if we simplify this, we have negative 1 squared is 1. So that becomes negative 2 equals a minus b plus c. Then over here, I have negative 6. I'm just simplifying these equations. Negative 6, that becomes 1 equals a plus 1b plus c. Now, we have three equations with three variables. We did not teach you guys how to solve a system of equations with three variables and three equations. Fortunately, though, for you, we know when I simplify this equation, it tells us what the value of c is, right? So I can just simply replace c with 0. Well, am I adding 0? Is that really doing anything? No. If that was like a number, you would have to subtract it or add it to get it to the other side, right? But in this case, you basically have this. Now, I still we already know what value c is. We need to solve for a and b. Does anybody remember what we would use? Yes, Dana? Elimination. You could use elimination, right? You could use substitution. But why use substitution when you have variables with a positive and negative, and they have the same coefficients? So all I would simply do to solve this problem is add negative 2 equals a minus b. And add negative 6 equals a plus b. So make sure you guys go back and review systems of equations, elimination, substitution. Because as I mentioned, this was the easy one. This is a problem I could find. You might have harder ones where you actually have to do some work for elimination and substitution. But in this case, all I'd simply do is add the two equations. I get negative 8 equals 2a. Those divide out. Divide by 2. Negative 4 equals a. Then, once I know what a is, I can plug it back into one of these equations to solve for b. I'll plug it into that equation, or right over here. So I'd have negative 6 equals negative 4 plus b. Add 4, add 4. Negative 2 equals b. So I now know what b is. I now know what a is. And I now know what c is. Yes? Where? There? This one? Just remember it's negative 1 squared, which means negative 1 times negative 1, which would be a positive 1. Right? Negative times a negative would be a positive. Yes? Nope. You could plug it into either one. You would get the same answer. 
So now we know what a, b, and c is. I'm just going to plug them in for this. So my final equation in standard form is y equals negative 4 x squared plus, or sorry, minus, because it's a plus a negative, minus 2x and then plus 0, which you don't really need to include the plus 0, but I just want to make sure you guys all understand the a, b, and c. Yes? No, you would not have to. Does everybody follow me? All right, we have five minutes, which is enough time for me to at least present. Um,